Welcome. In this video, we'll cover how financial reporting can be accomplished in Excel using Sage 300 Construction and Real Estate Office Connector Financials. Before we get started, let's identify why Excel is a good reporting platform for producing financial reports. First and foremost is ease of use. If you work in finance, you probably already use Excel. So using a tool that allows you to create Excel-based financial reports lets you leverage what you already know. Next, Excel contains a robust set of analysis features allowing you to quickly produce meaningful measurements of your financial values. Finally, Excel lends itself well to producing professional looking reports that may contain graphs and other useful visual elements. You might be wondering how Office Connector Financials differs from other methods of placing financial values into Excel for reporting. After all, Office Connector Query or ODBC might appear to accomplish this already. In short, the answer is that Office Connector Financials delivers a powerful set of financial functions that are specifically built to make it easy to perform operations that might otherwise be complex or time consuming. This includes reporting for current, prior, and even future periods, production of consolidated statements, even when not all entities are in the same period, production of partner statements, and the ability to drill down to see supporting transactions. Now let's take a look at how easy this is to use. Here we have a basic financial report already started. Down the left, we have a list of accounts, which could be accounts and titles that were either manually entered or queried using Office Connector. At the top, we're identifying the entity we intend to report and the fiscal year. We'll start by simply identifying a caption for the first column. In this case, I want to show the sum of the activity for period one. At this point, there are no financial values being displayed yet, and that's where Office Connector Financials comes into play. First, I'll click over to the Add-ins tab where the Office Connector toolbar is shown, and then I'll click on the Function Selector button. This displays a list of all the possible Office Connector functions that could be used within Excel. In the Financial Functions group, I'll click on the TSGL Amount function. This function is the heart of Office Connector Financials. It provides a number of different values and performs complex operations such as consolidations, rollback, and partner splits. You'll notice the documentation about the function is displayed on the right. To use this function, just click Insert. This inserts the function into the current cell of the worksheet and then displays Excel's Function Arguments window. This is where you supply the function with the values it needs in order to return the result that you're after. The first argument lets you specify the account prefix. As we'll see in a moment, this can be a specific prefix, a prefix mask that includes wildcards, or a list of prefixes. For this example, I'll identify the cell that contains the prefix I want. The second argument lets you identify the base account, and so I'll select the cell containing the first base account in my list. The base account argument also offers some flexibility by allowing you to specify a single account, provide an expression that represents a range of accounts, or provide a list of accounts to be combined. Next, I'll identify the desired year, and for the period, I'll select the period number from my column caption. Lastly, I'll identify the type of value that I want to be returned. There are 14 different types of values identifying amounts like balance, period activity, budget, cash or accrual, and a debit activity. In this case, I'll enter period activity because I want the sum of the activity for the period that I identified. Note that there are a couple of other arguments that I'm not using in this case. These would be used if I was working with budgets or producing a partner statement. When I click OK, the function is inserted into the worksheet and then I can copy it down to each row. Now, to quickly turn this into a view of 12 months of activity, I simply copy the entire column across. It's that easy. To see a different year, it's as easy as simply changing the year, causing all of the financial functions to recalculate. Likewise, to see a different prefix, just change the prefix and all the functions recalculate to reflect the new prefix. Now, let's look at a similar example that shows account balances as of a given period. Just like before, I have a column that shows the activity for the period identified at the top of the worksheet. I'll use the same process as before to add a column for the current balance as of the specified period. Click the Function Selector button, select TSGL Amount, click Insert, identify the prefix, identify the base account, identify the year, identify the period, and for the value, I'll use the word balance. 
I'll click OK to insert the function, and then copy it down to each row just as before. Right now, the report is showing information for prefix 100-1000. Here is where Office Connector Financials delivers some great flexibility. Instead of identifying a specific prefix, you can also use wildcards. A percent symbol represents any set of characters, so as an example, 100-% indicates that we want all prefixes that start with 100. Now the values in the Activity and Balance columns represent the consolidation of all the prefixes under Company 100. But what happens if you want to be more selective and provide a list of specific prefixes like this example? To do this, I'll open the Function Arguments window by clicking the FX button and then change the prefixes argument to identify a range of cells. Then I'll copy the updated function down and then apply the same change to the balance column. Now the values from the set of prefixes that I enter in the range above are consolidated and I can easily update the list as well. What's also noteworthy is that prefix 400-1210 does not have the same current period as the others. It has already been advanced one period ahead. Fortunately, this poses no problem for Office Connector Financials because it will correctly navigate your data, examine your fiscal settings, and determine how to correctly roll back the values for any account based on the prefix it's under. There's even more functionality that we won't get into during this video, and it's important to understand that when you combine all of this with the features of Excel, we're only beginning to scratch the surface of the possibilities. Let's take a look now at a few financial reports that have been built using this technology. Here we see a traditional income statement, but utilizing the drill down capability offered by Office Connector. Or how about a column or entity by entity comparison? Or a month to month comparison with quarterly subtotals? Or better yet, using financial functions to report historical data that can be graphed to show trends. The possibilities are endless, and the power can now be at your fingertips using Office Connector Financials. To learn more about Office Connector Financials or the Office Connector product suite, please contact your Sage account manager or your Sage business partner.